like most teenage boys, he's developed an obsession with little Pierre. He's touching himself, licking his lips whilst watching the telly. And he does it quite frequently, doesn't he? Does, it yeah. It just happen anywhere, in front of anyone. Yeah. He's still very social when he's enjoying himself. I had a friend round and Pierre jumped up on the chair next to her. He started touching himself and my friend's like, what is your dog doing? I don't think she knew whether to be flattered or offended, <laughs> did she? <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. It seems Victoria's reputation has preceded her. But no, well, wait a second, you've got to come say hello to me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> What's the deal with him? That's a little unusual. Okay. Pierre likes to touch himself. Oh. Does he do it when you've got people round? Or... Yeah, absolutely. So when you have people round and you might be sat around the table and he could be sat next to one of our guests and he will start touching himself, <laughs> or... <laughs> which then makes it embarrassing, absolutely. Yeah, you can't do that at the table. <laughs> do you have any video of it? I do, actually. You do? Okay. Yeah, well, I have to see this young man to see what, what's going on. Oh. How do you explain this to your kids? A little bit awkward, really. First of all, he likes to touch himself, which is embarrassing when you have guests around. Kind of looks rude, and you want to stop him from doing it. But here's the thing, I don't think he's doing what we think he's doing because it is a grooming behavior and self-soothing because I'm sure he does it sometimes after he's had a lot of play. Yeah, yeah, it is when he's more relaxed. When he You're gets when he's more tired, relaxed, yes. He's tired, yeah. And he just can't reach it because of the way that he's built. So he's trying to groom himself, bless him, and it looks like he's a dirty old man. So although it looks a little risque, Pierre's simply finding the best way he can to groom himself given his large head and stocky body. But how do you stop the stroking when guests are around? Just distract him and give him this toy that I've got for him that he will be able to still lick and chew on and it will take the place of his willy. Licking is soothing for dogs, so giving Pierre a toy that can be stuffed with treats will provide the ultimate calming distraction. So there it is. There you go. So now you have a toy where you can do something that's much more appropriate. Hopefully now there'll be no more red faces round the dinner table. A few weeks later, Victoria's back to check in on the troubled teen Pierre's progress. How's it been going? It's really good, actually. Yeah. He still does it. I think mm. we're way more accepting of it, aren't we? Yeah. It was really funny, actually, because we went away uh, to Cornwall quite recently with some friends, and he did it on the sofa, but he actually had his back to them, oh, whereas geez. normally he'd be the other way. <laughs> um, like, he's found his own way. This is private. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.